In today's video, let's see STCW Convention Chapters. How many chapters are in STCW? What are they? There are 8 chapters are there in STCW Convention. Chapter 1, General Provisions. Chapter 2, Master and Deck Department. Chapter 3, Engine Department. Chapter 4, Radio Communication and Radio Personnel. Chapter 5, Special Training Requirements for Personnel on Certain Types of Ships. Chapter 6, Emergency, Occupational Safety, Medical Care and Survival Functions. Chapter 7, Alternative Certification. Chapter 8, Watch Keeping. Let's see in detail. Chapter 1, General Provisions. The first chapter of the STCW Annex deals with a wide range of administrative and procedural issues that have an impact on the interpretation and execution of the technical requirements in the remaining seven chapters. Chapter 2, Master and Deck Department. The requirements for the master, officers and ratings who serve in the deck department, and or those who perform functions relating to navigation, cargo handling and stowage, and controlling the operation of the ship and caring for persons on board, are covered in Chapter 2 of the STCW Annex and the associated sections of the STCW Code. The chapter has four regulations. Chapter 3, Master and Deck Department. The requirements for officers and ratings who serve in the engine department, and or those who perform functions relating to marine engineering, electrical, electronic, and control engineering, maintenance and repair, and controlling the operation of the ship and care for persons on board, are covered in Chapter 3 of the STCW Annex and the associated sections of the STCW Code. This chapter's structure is similar to that of Chapter 2. The officer in command of the watch and the operational degree of responsibility of the subject of the first rule. The chief engineer and second engineer officer, as well as the management level of responsibility, are the emphasis of the second and third rules. The fourth rule is about the rating that is part of the support level watch. Chapter 4, Radio Communication and Radio Personnel. The qualifications for radio operators and others who perform radio tasks on seagoing ships are addressed in Annex 4 of the STCW Annex, as well as the relevant parts of the STCW Code. Chapter 5, Special Training Requirements for Personnel on Certain Types of Ships. Qualifications for A. Personnel on Tankers and B. Personnel on rural passenger ships are addressed in Chapter 5 of the STCW Annex and the corresponding provisions of the STCW Code. Chapter 6, Emergency, Occupational Safety, Medical Care and Survival Functions. The STCW Annexes Chapter 6 and the related parts of the STCW Code include a wide range of requirements, including a. Familiarization and basic safety training. b. Survival craft competency. c. Advanced firefighting training. and d. Medical treatment. Chapter 7, Alternative Certification. Chapter 7 of the STCW Annex, as well as related parts of the STCW Code, enable for STCW certifications to be issued based on a different alignment of the seven tasks and three levels of responsibility than that provided for in Chapters 2, Deck Department, and 3, Engine Department. Chapter 8, Watchkeeping. The content pertaining to watchkeeping arrangements is consolidated in Chapter 8 of the STCW Annex and the associated parts of the STCW Code. The STCW Convention's principal goal is to ensure that an effective watch is kept on all seagoing ships at all times by qualified and fit crew members. In our next video, let's see the 2010 STCW Amendment. Hope you like this video. Please leave any questions or comments in the comments section. Keep following Marin Aura to see more such videos.